although Ferrari might not acknowledge even having rivals, let alone any of those firms work. It's easy to imagine that McLaren's rapid model development program is causing alarm in Renault. It's been only six years since McLaren Automotive launched its first product, the MP412C. That car got what was essentially a heavy facelift, and a far less clunky name, just three years later, when it became the 650S. Now its successor, the new 720S has been unveiled at the Geneva Auto Show with a more advanced carbon fiber composite tub and a turned up, 710 horsepower twin turbocharged V8 mounted behind the passenger compartment. McLaren has stuck with commendable adhesion to the plan with which it launched its road car division early this decade, using the same core architecture to create a family of models, graded sports, super, and ultimate series. The 720S Coupe debuts the second-generation Super Series cars and will be followed by both a Spider and an even quicker LT version. In the cage This is the first car to use McLaren's new Monocage 2 carbon fiber tub, which brings several significant developments. Whereas the 650S used a metal windshield surround bonded to the front of the carbon fiber structure, the 720S has integral carbon A-pillars and a carbon windshield tether. The new tub also includes a central roof spar that has mounting points for the new, wider opening doors, the 650S featured pillar hinges, a B-pillar hoop, and buttresses. McLaren claims that the full structure weighs 39 pounds less than the original monocell and its related metal parts, with the 720S's overall weight falling to a claimed 2,829 pounds in the car's lightest configuration. The other side of the power to weight ratio is equally compelling. While the headline horsepower figure isn't quite as impressive as the 720S's name suggests, referring to the fractionally weightier metric for this torque measurement, that 720 PS total still translates to an entirely respectable 710 horsepower, accompanied by a peak 568 pounds to foot of torque. A revamped version of the twin turbocharged V8 that has sat at the heart of every modern McLaren sees its displacement increased from 3.8 to 4.0 liters, and it boasts new turbos, cylinder heads, and pistons, plus a new crankshaft. The company claims, with very McLaren-like exactitude, that the M840T engine is 41% new. Transmission duties continue to be handled by a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission with all torque directed to the rear wheels. Acceleration numbers get more impressive as velocities rise. At the lower end the 720S doesn't look much quicker than the 650S, which was rarely accused of being a slouch. McLaren claims a 2.8 second 0 to 60 mph time for the 720S, just a tenth quicker than the 650S. But as speed builds, so does the improvement, with the 720S's claim of 7.8 seconds to 124 miles per hour being 0.6 second faster and a somewhat ridiculous 21.4 seconds 0 to 186 miles per hour time a full 4.0 seconds quicker. The claimed top speed is 212 miles per hour.